Uh, good morning, everybody. It's actually a late morning for me, and another vlog. I guess just what I'm going to call them. So I got up really early yesterday to make videos. Got three or four done. Come on. Got three or four done. Um, oh, let's see. Gray Man Tactical, Axel Hearing Protection. I had a little training video that I don't know if I'm gonna publish it or not. Um, and an ammo review. <coughs> and a battle belt budget budget battle belt video that I don't think I'm gonna publish either I feel like I was in a hurry when I made it anyway um, yeah I was out there way before the Sun came up way before the Sun came up so I could get some night shooting in because I also did I guess I did one for a light too, a pistol light but um, I drink a what what do you want? Huh? What do you want? What do you want? What? You a good boy? Yeah? You want a treat? Is that what it is? Anyway. Uh, so I decided to take it easy a little bit this morning going to go to the gym here in a minute and then go to the bank then go to tractor supply because I got to pick up a gate now the gate that I'm picking up they say they have in stock is gonna be a 14 foot cattle gate to go on the front of here, this is where the white truck was parked. The white truck is gone, got it sold. But I'm gonna put a gate across here with some of that um, um, privacy fabric that you like zip tie on. It'll be whatever, four foot, four foot high. And then take those gates down here. Take these gates down. They're pretty pointless anyway. Um, and I want to then build a canopy, like an offshoot, off the back here, because this is not long enough for either my truck or my girlfriend's Tahoe to go in without sticking out either either end. Um, so maybe put like a four foot something off the front of there, or but not off the front of off the, or I mean off the back of here, not off the front because the gate will be there. And then I can use this for storage for bigger things. Like right now, right now I have some things out here. Like I'm going to eventually put this back on my truck uh, once I drill some holes in that side and I'm able to remount it. There is a target from Tucson Tactical Targets, target stand, um, tent stakes, gas can, trash box. Uh, snow fence and the 5500 watt generator or 5000 watt generator that I'm going to sell uh, I mean it's, it's for sale but uh, it only runs on um, choke right now so I'm guessing that I just need to put a new carburetor on it um, and those carburetors are usually so inexpensive, those small engines, that uh, I'll probably just go that route if I can figure out which carburetor it takes. Um, because, yeah, that's a nice generator. Uh, 5,000 watt, runs real good, Honda. But, uh, I don't know, I need to sell it. Alright, so, i got these Axle Ear, uh, Ear Pro. Love those things great I had fun making the video for him and uh, 
Yeah, I never knew what I was missing when it came to inner ear pro like that. Yeah, it is. It's a thousand degrees out here already. And it's been raining so much. It's rained almost every day for two weeks. Not all day. Come on, Key. Not all day, but it has rained every day for about the last two weeks. And, uh,. You can feel it. You can feel it. Like it's only like 90 degrees right now. And it just, it reminds me of back in Ohio, just freaking hated. Humid. Brutal. Brutal. And my truck says 87 degrees. And, and we're off. I think, I mean, the generator brand new went for like almost $3,000, 2,900, 2,800 bucks. Um, so I think if I put, if I get it fixed, cleaned up, I don't know why I couldn't get six or 800 bucks out of it, especially considering how well it works. And there's a battery, there's a, there's a, uh, electric start and battery on it and charger a trickle charger for that battery that doesn't come with the charger normally or with the generator normally so I don't know if I uh yeah haven't been working for three weeks so gotta do something next thing's a, a rifle so almost to the gym not a long drive but uh, almost to the gym and just to let you guys know, I have been going about three or four days a week. I went the day before yesterday. Today is Saturday, by the way, this 17th or 18th or whatever day it is. Uh, today is Saturday. Um, I went on Thursday morning and I went on Tuesday. So yeah. I'm trying to go three to four days a week. Um, they say, because when I signed up, it was on a weekend. They say the weekends are really slow over here, which I don't understand why. You would think with everybody being off work. But I'll be damned if that parking lot isn't about as empty as I've seen it in the last, whatever it's been, three weeks since I've signed up, three or four weeks, month. I don't know if I'm going to get to do any recording today here, but if not, I'll see you. I'll see you in about an hour. Oh yeah. Now I get that Planet Fitness is supposed to be like judgment free zone, right? Which I think is ridiculous. Um, judgment builds um, competition. If 
if you feel like you're not up to snuff, up to par with other people, then that should drive you to reach a, a, that goal, that that bar. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, and I'm actually pretty self-conscious. Of I mean, I don't give a flying fuck what anybody says. Like anybody, really. Um, especially if it's unsolicited. But uh, when it comes to how I look, I mean, and how I feel, I'm pretty, uh, you know, as far as like feeling run down and shit, um, I'm, I'm actually pretty self-conscious about that. But in no way <laughs> do I need <laughs> some gym to protect me from people looking at me like, hey, you really need to fucking work out some more. And I go, yeah, I know, because <laughs> I'm a fucking fat ass. So, got to go home change, empty the back of the truck. Uh, I was going to go directly to uh, tractor supply from here, but I have my canopy and my chair and targets in the back of the truck, and I'm not going to be able to put the gate, I don't think I'll be able to put the gate in there with all of that stuff in there as well. Maybe I will. Maybe I can. I'll have a look. All right. Home again. I came up with an idea while driving home. And I'm going to look up Home Depot and see if they will deliver a gate and all the hardware. Hi, Draco. So I don't know how many of you guys out there have growing hearing problems, but uh, not only do I have the serious ringing all the time that uh, oftentimes just even just messes with your train of thought. Um, I have this brr, 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 almost like a drum beat right now brr, in my left ear. It's driving me nuts. Uh, this kind. So I finally found a gate and it is from Lowe's. They'll, they will uh, deliver it in a month. <laughs> in a month from today that is insane oh, so some of you <laughs> may remember that I posted a video about uh, open carry versus concealed carry and how like all the open carry myths of you know, somebody's gonna target you somebody's gonna come up and take your gun you're gonna cause mass panic all that stuff they're just they're just false they're just you know blatantly false there's anecdotal evidence that happens on a super rare occasion <laughs> that combined with people's overactive imagination uh, <clears throat> where these claims came from but they're false and I got some cop on another on a video he supposedly he's an undercover cop but also claims to be in a cop in a town of 1500 people that tells me everything I need to know right there. And that he and his partner follow gun owners around town that are open carrying. 
They follow gun owners around the door. And you wonder why I say cops are the enemy of freedom. Like, are the enemy of mine. Like, you know, maybe there's one or two out there that's not. But that's his, that's his version. That's his version of freedom is to have cops following open carriers around. Because apparently there's going to be an outburst of violence by bad guys because somebody's open carrying. He's got to be targeted and shot first. First thing this idiot did was say, why do you think special operations guys shoot people with guns? I don't know because they're in a war zone and that's what they're supposed to be doing? Like, you just compared your average open carrier to somebody that special, uh, the American Special Operations guys kill. What the fuck is wrong with you? And I'll put, I'll put a, 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 a thing right here. I'll move over. I put a thing right here so you guys can read along. <sighs> Number two, he says that undercover guys, that's why undercover guys uh, hide their guns. And it's like, yes, uh, undercover, oh, for first, let me finish these special operations guys. Not only did he compare open carriers to basically Taliban, and but he called the common criminal special operations guys. Because that's, that's the exact thing he's saying, is that the common criminal will kill somebody with a gun, you know, that's an open carrier, just like special operations kills a bad guy in a war zone. <laughs> wow. And then he says that, uh, why do you think undercover cops hide their guns? Well, because they're undercover. Because they're in an active investigation. Are you in an active investigation as an average open carrier or average carrier? No. You don't want to alert bad guys. I want bad guys to leave me alone and they'll leave me alone. There's more than anecdotal evidence to prove that if they think I'm armed. And that is the cry of the American gun owner is that the presence of guns makes things safer. Except for apparently if you're open carrying, that is. If you're open carrying, criminals turn into special operations guys and dissect the whole, the whole uh, uh, situation. They, they, they look it over, they do the Jason Bourne thing, and that person weighs this much, this person weighs that much. I can run this far without my hand shaking, and there's three exits to the building, and I can take this guy out first and that guy. It's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> But that's all I hear when I hear people say that the bad guy's gonna take you out first. There's no, zero, there's zero evidence that that's a factual statement. There's zero, <laughs> nothing that can possibly make that true. But it's the most confident that are usually the most ignorant. Then this guy comes out that he's a cop himself, so. There you go. Um, the most confident is the most arrogant and probably usually the most wrong. If it were true that bad guys commonly shoot good guys with guns because they're open carrying, there would be no beat cops. There would be no street cops. They would all be dead. They would all be dead. I guarantee you, we have more criminals than we have cops. They would all be dead. How is it that one cop can go into a situation in inner city and break up fights all night long and make it through alive? It's amazing. Or, or criminals like soft targets, which we know is a fact, criminals like soft targets and the presence of a firearm does in fact deter crime. So, real quick, I am 
changing up my carry a little bit today because I company sent me a couple holsters and it's a company that I gave a really really horrible review to a year or so ago and that's VersaCarry um, their Ranger inside the waistband holster absolute trash but they contacted me and said hey you want to check out some holsters I'm like you don't know who I am do you <laughs> like you never got a hold of that video but they sent me two they sent me this it's kind of dark in here they sent me this uh, outside the waistband uh, leather and kydex it's got a kydex outside covered leather and leather on the inside <sighs> and I've been breaking them in for like a week wrapping the wrapping the guns in bags making sure that everything was nice and loose before I fiddle farted around with it and the other one is uh, I already don't like it I don't like leather holsters I don't like any holster I have to push really hard to get the gun into you know what I mean I just don't like it it's not uncomfortable now that it's on me It's got, yeah, I just, not impressed. You would think the Kydex, or I would have thought that the Kydex would have helped it with some structure. Like, like uh, the crossbreed holsters I have, right? Or alien gear holster I have, or what's the other one? Um, well, I can't even remember the name of it right now. But of the three or four hybrid holsters I have, none of them are that hard to deal with, and they're leather on the back, kydex in the front. So I don't understand what's going on with this one. The other one, you said. There's an inside the waistband. With a permanent cant on it as well. I don't understand these people coming out with holsters with permanent cants on them. But um, this is also Kydex on the outside. It has a padding on the inside. It's fat. It is fat. Like when you put it in your pants, it's fat. Um, it's not uncomfortable, it's just fat. Uh, but I have this a very similar issue to, um, you know, when you insert your pistol is when a good majority of the problems of when the accidental discharges happen. And with both of these, I have to push hard to get it to reholster. But the draw isn't bad. The draw isn't bad. I just have to I'll just wear it some more. I've only worn it a couple days. Now, let's get on the road. Oh, wow. Well. foot thousand pounds closing that bank account was a pain in the ass they tried to keep me as a customer they tried hard nope I'll explain it to you when I get back in the truck. But you know, my bank is in a Walmart, so that's why I'm in Walmart right now. 
but I need to get some straps. All right, now. I'm back on my camera. And I have the map pulled up and I guess I'm gonna go get a gate. I guess I'm gonna go get a gate. The two small straps I have in the truck should be good enough. I also have like 600 foot of paracord or something like that, so that ought to be enough. Turn left onto West Burlingame Road, then turn right onto I-10 Frontage Road. Ah, I know where I'm going. Okay. This is the one that I thought that, this is the one that I thought I was going to go to to begin with. I know exactly where I'm going. All right. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, that thing's hanging way out the back of the truck. So, slow and easy. Slow and easy. They wanted to tip out the back because my bed is shorter than halfway. And, uh, so I just started stacking steel targets on top of it until it didn't want to anymore. <laughs> Hazards. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, let's... Let's see how this thing fits. Almost like it's made for it. So, all I have to do is figure out my height, but drill into here. Yeah, I could probably drill into the face of this, leaving it out far enough for this to close, or I could drill into the side of this and leave it overlap a little bit here because where it's sitting it's just about perfect down this leg but either way put some put some uh, wire wire mesh across it and some of the screen and uh, that'll be okay that'll be all right and mail's here Say hi. <laughs> What'd you? Oh, yes, cool. Thank you. What's this other package that's heavy as shit? Oh, I know what that package is. Anyway, back to the gate. Yeah, I think some mesh mesh across there with it opening definitely this way up against the neighbor's fence there their little but that's the kind of wire uh, like wire fence that I want to put across here um, even if I don't even if I do put um, the privacy screen up cool right. and see what came in the mail you guys get an unboxing. That's normally something that just my patrons get. Shut it, dogs. Hi, Draco. Hi, Draco. Whew, it's hot out there. It's hot out there. Hi. Wanna go outside? We'll go outside. Did you just wake up? Tail's just a go into town. So first, we the people.
Doesn't look like a holster box, huh? That's because it is a belt box. Very cool box, too. That's their magazine thing. That is the belt. That is the buckle. It's sort of like a Cobra buckle. And this thing is super stiff. Super duper stiff. Ah, yes, the AC finally kicked on. All right. This it's heavy and it's from Phoenix, Arizona. Can anybody guess what it is? Did you put your guess in? Oh. <laughs> Arsu, Arsu, A R S O O, Arsu, A R 500, A R 500 armor. This is their Veritas carrier. Well, it feels good, even through the bag, just holding on to it. Like, it feels like a good made product. So, their Veritas. Carrier in OD, or I mean in Coyote. Uh, the Cumberbund, the Skeletal Cumberbund, and this guy. Oh, it's the flap, the admin flap to hold everything together. Along with AR-500, I'm assuming level 3. Yep, level 3. 10 by 12. AR-500, Armored Republic is technically what their name is now. And is that it? That is it. There we go. And that admin, admin pouch is still functional at that point. And I would probably just leave these like that. Cool. Very cool. Very awesome. I like it. Feels good. Feels like a good, good, well-made piece of piece of kit. Like all the stitching looks good. All the things that are there. Oh, this even has a top admin with Molly or with uh, elastic loops on the inside. That's cool. Let's put a plate in it. Now this is this must be made for these plates. Because oftentimes when you have a carrier that fits multiple, yeah, multiple plate sizes, there'll be a buckle or something in here to keep the plate in, in place for the smaller plates that you might use. But uh, it's that simple. It's all the way at the top, too. Fantastic. All right, let's see. I can already tell 
It's a little high. Yep, I need to adjust those. Yep, I need to adjust those. But it's not going to feel bad once I do. I can tell by how, how it's all feeling. I could adjust the shoulder straps out just a little bit. Yeah, I could adjust the shoulder straps out just a little bit. If you guys don't know, you have a sturdle notch here where your, tur where you, where your two uh, clavicles come together or collarbones and they form a notch. Your plate should be about even with that notch. It can be about an inch below it. Um, right now I'm about an inch above it. So I'm a little high, I'm a little high, a little small this way. Um, and then your back plate should be basically right across from there because the point in the plates is to protect your vitals and your vitals aren't lower or higher in your back or front. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this thing, I mean, I'm done with this right now, but I'm gonna get this thing adjusted today and get to fucking around with it. All right, guys. I like my new Vigilance Elite hat. I like it. I don't watch many gun channels, but that's one that I do watch. I watch him. I watch T-Rex Arms. Demolition Ranch. Some people are surprised about the Demolition Ranch thing. Matt Carriker, Demo Ranch. Somebody that I'll never have anything in common with, right? I'll never know him. He'll never know me. Has done more, I would argue, has done more for the normalization of firearms amongst normies, you know, not amongst people like me, but the normalization of firearms um, than anybody else ever has. Anybody else ever on the planet Earth ever has. He's got 10 million subscribers. By the way, this was pretty comfortable. Still don't know if I agree with the drawing and all that, but. Um, 10 million subscribers and the guy puts out entertaining uh, content with big guns all the time and uh, yeah he's done more to normalize that stuff than anybody else ever but I think that's about it I wasn't expecting the unboxing to happen uh, I'm not going to put the gate on until tomorrow because I need to charge the batteries for my drill um, so I'll put the gate on tomorrow, and that's about it. I'm done for the day, and it is three o'clock. So it's been a long day. It's been a it's been a full day. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I'm gonna put a link in case you're interested. I'm gonna put a link in for AR500 Armor down below. I'm gonna put a link for We the People down below. Um, I'm gonna put a link for. I guess that's all the affiliate stuff I showed you, but uh, there was something else I was going to, oh, the glasses, the glasses, I'll put a link, an Amazon link for these guys down below, I really like them, they're comfortable, and that's it, I appreciate you guys watching, I hope you liked this another, another like, almost non-gun related vlog day, uh, until until these shipments got here but uh yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs and we'll talk to you later